President Donald Trump is under attack by anti-Americans. The president skipped a pregame interview at Super Bowl 52 where the Philadelphia Eagles defeated the New England Patriots 41-33. Presidents of the past have done an interview, but Trump did his own thing, so he skipped it and hosted a post-game party at his property Mar-a-Lago. The Super Bowl turned out to be a fantastic game where everyone stood for the national anthem, and Philadelphia Eagles MVP Nick Foles made a stunning announcement after the game that he had other liberals throwing a massive fit and Roger Goodell shaking in his overpriced white privilege shoes. Despite the adverse action from some bad players taking a knee during the year, there was none of that at the Super Bowl. It was refreshing to see America first and the special statement after the game. But that's now where Trump was attacked. Some of the hardcore anti-Americans launched a barrage of online assaults and complaints against Donald Trump. When President Trump and First Lady Melania arrived at the location of the party, they were about to walk in the door, but they were then greeted by a band and cheerleaders from a local Florida college. The band and cheerleaders put on a quick performance and then spoke with the president and his beautiful wife for a few moments. Donald and Melania spent time thanking them for the show, saying hello, shaking hands, and chatting before walking inside to enjoy their event. This is where the apparent attack on Trump began. Some of the hardcore feminists and smug white liberals bashed Trump for having cheerleaders perform at Mar-a-Lago. People tried to turn this into Trump is a pervert attack, but it's complete nonsense. Cheerleaders have been part of football since forever. People tried saying the cheerleaders were too scantily clad, but that was a lie as well. Their outfits covered everything, and the girls were dressed very appropriately. Football and cheerleaders are an all-American form of entertainment. They go together like lock and key. There's nothing perverted about having cheerleaders at a football-based event, especially considering it was in celebration of the Super Bowl. Daily Mail reported, what should have been a fun night of football turned into an awkward moment for the first family were greeted by scantily clad cheerleaders at the Mar-a-Lago Super Bowl party. While the president laughed and smiled, even flashing a thumbs up to the gaggle of girls from the Florida Atlantic University marching band and cheerleading squad, the first lady stood quietly by his side. Following the spirited performance, Donald crossed the lawn at the Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach to meet and shake hands with the girls, some of whom were wearing hot pants and style tops. Thank you so much, that was so great, great job, great talent, enjoy the game, he told the band and cheerleading squad after the troupe performed Hail to the Chief Boogie Wonderland and Shut Up and Dance. Despite the seemingly obvious wardrobe choice, the president declined to respond to questions shouted by journalists regarding whether he was supporting the New England Patriots or the Philadelphia Eagles, according to pool reports. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and Trump became friends back in 2002 when Trump invited Brady to judge the Miss USA pageant after the first season quarterback won his first Super Bowl. The pictures we have above show Donald spending time with civilians and Melania looking back to smile and wave. How can anyone attack the Trumps when they continuously take a few moments of time to spend with every day? Regular citizens they could have walked right by them, but they didnt. The president and his first lady took a few moments to spend time with people who performed for them. There's no reason to attack President Trump or Melania for having a football-themed party after the Super Bowl. If the cheerleaders were not wearing clothes, then I could understand people being a little bit upset, but that didnt happen and people are acting as it did. This is where people need to realize that the mainstream media and leftists, in general, will constantly push a story that's often based on lies and misconceptions. Donald and Melania did nothing wrong and should not be attacked verbally online for having cheerleaders at the party. This is regular football, and America loves almost every bit of it. The only thing we don't like is people who take a knee during the national anthem and Roger Goodell. No one wants the disrespectful players, and Roger Goodell should give his job to someone else. Nick Foles made football great again. He won the MVP, stands for the national anthem, and gave all glory to God after the game. Is the NFL going to be pro-America again if the NFL sends Roger Goodell and the disrespectful anti-American players away, then it might be on the right track to winning back the love from the fans.
For the web powered by Zergnet, this figure skating move was too provocative for the Olympics. Olympic figure skater handles wardrobe malfunction perfectly. The real reason you don't hear about Leanne Rimes anymore. Snowboarder breaks his neck in terrifying crash at Olympics. Here's who Jackie Kennedy thought had her husband killed. The real reason Jennifer Aniston and Justin Theroux split.